Hi, everyone. Hey, listen, we're going to Candace's tonight to celebrate her 29th birthday. And she said I could bring my mood box along and do the unboxing with her. So that is the plan. But before we go, I wanted to say something to you. You may have noticed that I didn't comment back to anyone on my last video, if you notice things like that. And I feel remiss, I always do, when I don't write back to you. The desire of my heart is really and truly to write to each one of you because I love reading what you say. I wanna assure you of something. If you have written to me about an injury that you've experienced or a loss that you have had in your life, I'm gonna be praying for you. And I have a clipboard, a Simplicity Vintage clipboard, and I keep my notes on it, and I write your name down and I pray for you. Not because I'm some kind of little Pollyanna, but because you matter and I value you. So take heart if you did not hear back from me, but you're going through something, I'm thinking of you, I really am, and you're in my prayers. So I hope that's okay, that I didn't write back to everyone. I'm working on something for next week, I hope it's gonna be done, but in the meantime, we're gonna go to Candace's and open that box, stay with me. As promised, I am at Mike and Candace's apartment, their condo, and I've got my box here. I'm going to dive into this. And from Moo. Welcome, Candace. Thank you. Candace gave me a very generous gift card for Christmas to Mood. To Mood. Now that didn't make me happy at all as you can imagine. I said, what am I gonna do with this? I know, I was a little worried giving it to you because you said you were on a fashion... Um, a fabric fast? Not fashion, yeah, fabric fast. And you weren't gonna buy any? And I was like, uh oh, I already got a gift card for her. Well, but. I'm not gonna <laughs> buy any in 2021. And I can hear the laughter from here. However, I'm going to try. So this was actually purchased in December. I did not oh, waste so you didn't break any your vow. <laughs> any time in, spending that gift card. So it it was uh, almost instant. Okay. Oh, you got a nice glossy bag. So I think I uh, let's get into it. I shopped for four hours and I tried to get the very best deals. Now, Mood is very pricey. I they think it's are. pricey. And you know, when you shop at Fabric Mart, you get spoiled. You okay. get spoiled. There's just no two ways about yeah, it. Yeah, because you get everything so, so discounted. They, you know, the last sale that I shopped at Fabric Mart, they had their 70% off category for an extra 10% off. That's crazy. So, if you don't so take how much advantage it, of that, how much would something be a yard? If you got oh, I got like some beautiful or... damask cotton for three dollars a yard. Yeah, you can't. A hundred percent cotton, and usually the natural fibers—cotton, silk, linen—they're mm -hmm. very expensive. Yeah, for and sure. so you know, so like a okay. rayon shower would be. Less than $3 a yard? Rayon is kind of one of those in-between uh, textiles. Like, it's made from natural products. It's mm -hmm. made from wood, wood pulp. But they treat it with chemicals. So then it's, you know, not so natural after all. Mm. Okay? Yeah. All right, let's get into this. My first choice was a rayon... Ooh. Knit. This is stretchy. This is very um, DVF wrap dress. Oh, yeah. Like. Yeah, yeah. Can you see that? 
kind of it's a those vibe. cubes it's those cubes that can almost be like um an optical illusion yeah they look like they're inverted and then they look like they're converted exactly yeah. and it's this beautiful blue and purple and green which i love that combination I believe I got two and a half yards of this. Quite a lot of stretch. Stretch in both directions, but, but a lot this way. Um, it has so when you white buy, selvages. When you buy fabric and you can only see a swatch online, do you plan what you're gonna make with it? Or do you visualize what you're gonna make with it? Or do you need to see it first and feel it? I usually have a broad idea, like dress, shirt, jacket. Mm -hmm. I don't ever know which exact pattern I'm going to use. Mm, right, okay. This I kind of saw a top, but then why did I get so much? I got two and a half yards and you knits, make a couple tops. knits are very wide. Do you want a top? I think you should do a dress. Okay. You think it's too busy for it? I don't think it is. No, I love it. I thought the cubes were going to be bigger. And that is something mm. to really pay attention to because they... They almost always put a ruler up next to the fabric mm -hmm. so that you can get the scale of the print. And I didn't pay attention yeah, to that. It's kind of hard to visualize. Okay, this is, ooh, look at this. I think this is a periwinkle rayon chalet. Okay. Rayon chalet, as you mm. know, is extremely light. These remind me of like. Easter colors. They are such Easter colors and a little bit wallpapery. Is it mm, a skosh? But I think if you have the right pattern. Now one of these, nice. one of these in here, I'm thinking about using for a wedding dress to your wedding. But I can't remember which one it is. So we'll. This has little. You probably can't see it. I don't know if it picks it up. But do you see the little? Um, I don't know what you would even call that. It's like a watermark almost of flowers. Do you see no, that? No, I don't. Look on this side. Look in the light. There's like a very faint imprint of flowers. Oh, maybe this is the one I thought for your wedding. Because I thought it was so unusual. I feel like I don't have the vocabulary to describe what that well, is. Well, it's not textured, so we know it's not a jacquard. Jacquard is always text textured. I can't mm -hmm. speak to that. Mm -hmm. I did some research about jacquard and it's really interesting. I should prepare a little report for everyone. Mm -hmm. You should. But, I think of um, jacquard as being more of like an upholstery thing. Jacquard can seem like upholstery because it's got that texture right, to it and thick. it's usually a little bit heavier. Mm -hmm. But this is just stamped on. This is just printed. Right. And maybe that's why I thought it would be wedding worthy because it had a uniqueness to it and it has really pretty spring colors and your wedding is in spring is it not it is not 21 but 22 so okay got some time to decide. now this is this may be wow. you might say to yourself what in the world mom again i thought these <laughs> circles were going to be a lot bigger they're and very bright they too. said to make children's clothing with this and i said to heck with that i'm making something for me Okay, okay, okay. But I thought the circles I mean, were going to be like this big. I admire your boldness. I think it's a little, little wacky. Okay. A little loud. Wacky in a good way or a bad way? Mm. Does it look like laughing from 1973? It's a little bit like in your face, like shower curtain, fun poppy colors. But I mean, I think you could turn it into something cool if you paired it with something very neutral. Like if you had white Should jeans. Should I make pants out of it? Um, you could. Like you know, capris. here's the thing. I'm really screwing up worse than channel 20. I, I can't picture this as pants. Okay, you know why I'm screwing up? I thought these circles were going to be giant. They took a picture <laughs> of it with nothing but a circle in it. Oh, so how big were you picturing? Like huge. And I thought, oh, that will make such a cute shift dress. Okay. Which it still could. I could see you making a very fun kind of Lily Pulitzer-esque sundress out of this. Okay. 
Yeah, definitely summer. It's structured, so it could be like it kind is of structured. A... This has a little bit of lycra mm -hmm. in it, so you can see just a teeny bit of stretch for comfort, mm -hmm. not really for stretch. But um, you could make it like is kind really of a Pulitzer. like a zany blazer, but I wouldn't like that. No. I could see someone wearing it, but I don't think I would like it on you. And I don't think I wear blazers. You're not really a blazer kind of gal. But um, I do love it. But I, I think the sundress, and you could even go like full lily and get some um, piping. Uh, oh. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, piping. Piping. Yeah. Piping. Like eyelets or something might be okay. kind of fun. And um, the, it's just, it's fresh, isn't it? Like, couldn't you see it down in Palm Beach? It's very watermelon. Like, let's go get a drink yeah. out in, in Palm Beach. It's got kind of a martini. Martini or huh. champagne <laughs> bubbles. Okay. Okay. Um, this is I feel like my face a, looks very red. Maybe this came the, from Liberty of London. I now think that, because it's so white in this room, it looks like. I love your room. It looks it's so, so red. Clean. It's not that red. Okay, now this is from Liberty of London. Have Ooh, you ever heard like of this. them? Uh, I don't think I have. Okay, well, they are a very, very famous fabric design house. And this they, is cool. they make beautiful cottons that cost $36 a yard. This didn't. This I could see being pants. But this is a cotton, and it's got nice a very thin. nice hand to it. I feel like it would be very breathable. And there is the pattern. You could make a really cool kind of um, balloon sleeve top, maybe, with like a square neckline. Okay. You could see a nice yoke neckline. Yeah, this is pretty, pants. and there's no stretch whatsoever. But it's got a really nice silky feeling, doesn't it? It does. It okay, I'm on to my last piece. Goodness. And, ooh, I thought this was gorgeous. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay, ooh, wow. this, let's see that. Ooh, it's yeah, so, like. It's so, so lush, it's isn't like it? like watery almost. So this was a, I believe it's a poly woven. So there's no stretch going on. Let me get it up close. I love that color combination. Oh, look, there is a stretch this way. There is? Is that on the bias? On the bias. Um, I love the color combination of coral and gray. Yeah, it's really beautiful. And this has a, a lot large of scale print, which I'm a big fan of. It's got kind of a luster to it. It's got a luster, yes, yes, a sheen, it's if luminous. you will. It's a luminous sheen. It's very pretty. And I could see I could see this being This was my most expensive cut. I could see this being wedding attire. Okay, they call this stormy weather and copper hibiscus. Mm. Well, believe it or not, I had not chosen this for the wedding dress. I had chosen that first one we pulled this out. One? Not the first one, this one. Yeah. But now that I see it, I don't I, think it's dressy enough. I think it's too casual. It's too casual. It's too casual. This feels much richer and more glam. Okay. This could be, I could see it being a really pretty maxi dress. Wait, it's it a does big have print. some stretch, Candace. Yeah, it does. Yes, you're right. A wee bit of stretch. You are absolutely right. Really I do pretty. recall that this one was... It would look nice with rose gold jewelry. I think it might have been $15.99 a yard, and that's getting up there for me. That's a lot. Some people you. don't even blink twice at spending yeah. that much well, money. Well, how much must have this have been if not on sale? Was it oh, that was its regular price. Oh, it really? wasn't on sale. Oh, I thought this was just... So this was definitely a splurge. But it um, feels, like, very luxurious. I wonder if it would be hot, though. Maybe. Maybe. Although in May, when your wedding is... Could be cold in May, you never know. Northern yeah. Virginia. Well, well, I think it's going to be a beautiful day. It could be pouring rain. And you will be a beautiful bride. Be now, hot. before we go, I have one cold. more thing to show you. Um, did you see a pattern in here? Oh, yeah. Okay. I picked this up. This is New Look 6615. And it's got that scalloped... Mm -hmm. off-shoulder neckline that I think is so pretty. Very flattering. If you have nice shoulders, which you do. 
Well, I think that's one of my safer body parts that's, to play up. That's you kind know? of a myth. You don't need a certain type of shoulder. But. No, I think I think you need good shoulders. I, not saying I have good shoulders, but you know, the older you get, the fewer parts you have to play up. <laughs> so I was thinking that I might try that for your wedding. Okay. And I'm wondering if you like I the flared dress or the straight sheath dress. I think both are lovely, but I'm a little more drawn to the flare. Okay. Because I think you would have the twirl aspect. And there's going to be dancing. Yeah, and it's just a little more comfortable. I think whenever I'm in a dress like this, I feel a little bit more, um, not like body conscious, but you know, it's just a little bit stiffer. This is more yes. fun, springy, dancey, I think. Do you think it'd be pretty in this? I don't know if I could use this. I don't know if it's structured mm. enough to hold those scallops. No, I don't think it's the right material. You would need something a little stiffer. Not this print, but something along Similar. those lines. Similar. Like a good wise. cotton. Good stiff cotton. A good stiff cotton. Yeah, it's really pretty. So One thing to be aware of, though, yes. with these off the shoulders, it's yes. very hard to raise your arms if you're yes. dancing. Do we need to raise our arms? You don't need to, but if you desire to yeah, raise your arms. When you're dancing... You raise your arms quite a bit. You do. I what is your, do you know what your dress is going to look like? No. Okay. I do not. Well, we have some time to play around, and I, my goal is to make several dresses and see which one I like best and well, run it got, by you. You've got the rehearsal dinner. Too. Do you know the color scheme? Um, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I don't know much of anything. No, at this you've point. done a ton to plan for it. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking um, I like pops of bright color. Um, I don't know, it's hard to describe the venue, but I could either I could go one of two ways. I could do bright kind of jewel tone colors or I could do more whimsical pastels, which I think is done a lot. Okay. But I also, I don't know, I like both. I love jewel tones. So I need to decide on many things. Like a sapphire blue or a real... Yeah, just like really... Saturated green. Saturated colors. Uh -huh. Yep, yeah, because it'll be kind of a natural environment, so there'll be a lot of green. And then the venue itself is like a pavilion, so it's white wood. And there's a carousel, and they light it up it at night, and we will get to ride it. Yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna leave you for now, but that is my beautiful mood order. Compliments of this girl right here. And today's her birthday. Can it I tell them how birthday. old you are? Oh sure. She is 29 today. It's my last hurrah in my Your 20s. last year in the 20s, <laughs> and Colin is 19, his last year mm -hmm. in the teens. And Graham Graham's 32. So no, Graham is thirty one. Mm. He'll oh, yeah. be thirty two this right. year. Okay. Yeah. So this year, all of your kids will be either in their twenties or thirties. Yes. Wow. Yes, that is true. <laughs> Please don't remind me. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this wasn't too long. Thank you, Candice, for letting me do this on her birthday. Here comes mom with her tripod and her mood bag. And I'm like, please, can we just film a video? So you're an excellent sport. Thanks and for um, me. come back next week. I hope to have my things finished to put in a video to show you as I love to do. Good night, everybody. It's Bye. dark out. Bye. Happy New Year.